Hello! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw eyes in three different styles. First, I'm going to be drawing a realistic eye, then an anime eye, and finally an eye in my own style. As always, I'll be drawing a paint tool side. This tutorial is for beginner digital artists, but if you prefer traditional media, you can also follow the steps. Alright, let's begin. First, let's find a reference picture of an eye. Perfect! I took a picture of my beautiful eye. Well, it's not really beautiful, but let's go with that. You can also search the web for a picture of an eye. And if you like a challenge, you can try drawing without any reference. Let's begin with a realistic eye. I always draw a sketch first. No matter what the initial style of the drawing is, drawing a sketch makes it easier to visualize the drawing, give the eye a general shape and correct mistakes before proceeding. You can make it more of a rough sketch my sketches tend to be rather polished. I guess that works best for me. Also, I'll be drawing each step on a different layer. That makes the whole process a lot easier. After the sketch is done, I lower the opacity of the layer, usually to around 25-30%, to and I create a new layer above the sketch. Now, we can make a line art. If you like clean line art, the trick I use to make the lines super clean is to smooth any harsh edges with the eraser whenever I make a new line. This can be tedious and might take some time, but in the long run it's really worth it. When you're done with the line art, turn up the sketch layer. And let's get to the next step, which is coloring. Create a layer under the line art and pick your base color. In this case, the base is the skin, so I'm going with a skin shade. At first, I wanted to color only the lid of the eye. But then I decided to cover a larger area to make the eye more pronounced. On a different layer, color the white part of the eye. I would recommend using a slightly darker shade of white, not bright white. No one has bright whites in their eyes and we're going for a realistic look. With a soft airbrush, paint some shades under the eyelashes and around the edges of the eye. It's best to create new layers for each step and clip them to the base layer. And while shading, turn the layer's effect to multiply to give it a nice overlaying shade effect. For the skin shades, 
I went with some brown shades and used both the airbrush as well as the watercolor brush. In some places I tried to make the shades soft and blend them well and in other areas I think combining these two shading methods creates a more realistic look. For the highlights, create a new clipping mask and turn the effects to screen. Then, draw some highlights on the upper and lower eyelid and in the corner of the eye around the shade. Like in previous stages, pick a base color for the iris. Mine is green. Shade around the edges and around the pupil. If you're going for a more natural look, and want to give more dimension to the eye, you can create several layers with shades that overlay one another. Also, our eyes have tints of different color shades. I added some bluish shade and brighter yellowish green accents. Then you're going to add some light reflections and blur the edges a bit. Finally, we get to coloring the eyebrow. I was trying to imitate the hair strands with some more harsh shading, raising certain areas to give the impression there are lighter hairs. I did the same thing with the highlights. This creates a more three-dimensional look. You can also add thin brush strokes to complete the effect. As a finishing touch, you can add some colors to the liner. Either change the whole color or overlay some parts with an airbrush for a nice effect. On the new clipped layer, you can also add some lighter lines and imitate the lashes. And we're done with the first eye. Now let's get into drawing the anime eye. We'll start with a sketch, as always, following with a clean line art and finishing with colors. Anime eyes are very big and the overall shape is exaggerated. The upper and lower lid often don't connect and the iris and pupil are elongated. You can also see a large light spot near the pupil. In some cases, more than one. What I mean by light spot is the place where light reflects. Those are usually shown as ovals or spots. In anime eyes, lashes are very minimalistic. I like to add about two or three longer lashes on the upper lid and maybe two small ones on the lower lid. Eyebrows are thin and long. When the line art is done, you can create a base color for the white part of the eye. I often use a darker color, in this case grey, because the background of the canvas 
this white and we want to be able to see the shape of our eye. Once you get the right shape, plot the layer and paint it white. Afterward, I create a clipping layer, turn it into multiply and pick a darker color for the shade. It can be gray or it can have a more brownish or bluish tint, depends on the color scheme. Use a harder brush or pencil. This type of shading is called cell shading or tone shading. Don't worry about covering the space where the iris is, we'll be covering that in a new layer anyways. For a softer effect, on a different layer, you can shade with an airbrush. Now pick a bucket tool and color the iris. Following the earlier examples, I'm drawing rough shades under the eyelid and around the pupil. Then I give the eyes a bit of a yellow tint with the airbrush. I set the layer mode to screen. On a different layer, I draw the highlights. In this case, it's a simple line on the lower edge of the iris. To make it pop, turn the layer to a luminosity effect. I fill the places where the light reflects my light spots with white. Like in the previous eye, I made a base skin layer underneath the eye and gave it some shades on the upper lid. I like to do that since it creates more depth to the eye. Lastly, color the eyebrow, make some shades, add a small highlight and we're done with the second eye. The last eye will be in my personal style. My style is a mix of the realistic and anime eye. It's more cartoony, but I still like to give it a more or less natural shape. When drawing the upper lid, I tend to make a small line above the general line. It's like a tiny lash. I find it looks cool. I also add a tiny wrinkle under lower lid. I like how it gives more depth to the eye. Same goes with the upper lid. I keep the iris and pupil round and add only one white spot. With the shading, I like to cover the whole area around the eye. I draw both harsh shades and soft airbrush shades on different layers, mostly going for the cell shading technique like in anime eyes. And that covers my way of drawing eyes. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more art-related tips and tutorials. Bye!